happy Monday, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me this morning on today's uh, tutorial. <laughs> I kind of drew a blank there for a minute. Happy Monday. And in today's video, I always like on the last Monday of the month to bring you the paper pumpkin kit. So if you are not familiar with the paper pumpkin kit, uh, stay tuned. I'll explain that in just a minute. But for those of you who don't know me, this is your first time to find me. Let me introduce myself. My name's Christina Reese, and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page to bring you card tutorials. So I just love helping card makers with sharing art design tips and, um, and doing a card tutorial three days a week with you all. And like I said, the last Monday of the month, I always do the paper pumpkin kit. I put it together for you and I share some tips with you on how to easily put it together. Okay. Hey, look at all these people this morning. Kathy and Vicki and Linda and April and Kim and Greg. Good morning. Good morning. And the names are going by so fast I can't catch them. That's okay. All right. Before we get started, though, let me tell you, we have a new host code. All right. So last month, the month of August, I um, had a host code for you. And if you spent $50 and got your free celebration, I was also sending you a free retired stamp set, which I have all of your names, those of you who put in the host code, and I will be mailing those out this week. Well, it's a new month, not exactly, it starts Wednesday, but it's easier for me to start on Mondays and go for four weeks. So we're starting uh, September. Oops, I meant to, hold on, let me edit that real quick. Oops, 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 this is not, yeah, I gotta switch this over to September. September, can I spell it? There it is, done and bring it in there we go september's host code x s b r k 47 r and when you put that in now this time though i'm asking you to spend a hundred dollars okay and the reason why is because i'm going to give you a free bundle <laughs> so if you spend a hundred dollars and you you have to use the host code if you don't use the host code i am so sorry but it doesn't pop up in my generate generator um, uh, when I go to print off my report. Um, so you have to put the host code in. If you forget, uh, text me, email me, let me know you forgot, and I may be able to put it in there for you. Stampin' Up, however, has gotten a little more strict on their host code uh, entering policy. Um, some uh, sometimes we're asking them to put in like 20 or 30 names and that's just not fair. They do not have time to do that. So they've limited to us to how many uh, host codes we can put in um, for people who have forgotten. Anyways, let's get on with today's paper pumpkin. Here we go. Let me switch my screen over and let me get all of these things off the screen. So, whoops, <laughs> that was my host code. Okay, and my pen, don't need my pen. All right, here we are. All right, paper pumpkin. All right, what the heck schmeck is paper pumpkin? Isn't that the funniest name for a monthly craft kit? Well, the whole idea is the phrase cute as a pumpkin. Okay, cute as my cute little pumpkin. Uh, these are cute little craft kits. <laughs> And so that's where the name came up with, but it's all year long. It's not just fall. But this one is Beautiful Butterflies. And this was created by our, uh, uh, oh, goodness gracious, my brain has just gone blank. Her name's Shelly, and she is the co-founder. Her and her sister, she and her sister, uh, started this over 30 years ago, Stampin' Up! And this is her kit she created. She loves butterflies, she loves bright colors, and she's the sweetest lady in the world. I hope someday you all get to meet her, um, because your life will be forever changed if you get to meet Shelly. Anyways, uh, let's get into this. So what is a paper pumpkin? A paper pumpkin is a monthly craft kit that comes to your box, mailbox, every month. It is only $22 uh, plus tax and shipping. You get, in your first paper pumpkin, you get the block. You have to keep it for all paper pumpkins later. You always get adhesive. So these are the dimensionals here 
and I'm not sure what I did with my glue dots. Here they are. Okay, so glue dots. So dimensionals glue dots, they have bling in this one. They don't always have bling. Sometimes they have other things, but this kit, they have this rhinestones. Um, you always get an ink spot, okay? And so if you do 12, uh, you do the whole year, you'll get 12 different color ink spots. And that is a great way to collect our color in our color inks um, and then you can just get the ink refillers which are only three dollars and 75 cents and you can keep filling these up and you'll always have our your little ink pads all right you always get an exclusive stamp and these stamp sets you cannot get them anywhere else you cannot purchase them the only place you can get these stamp sets are through our paper pumpkin always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring just a note of hope the word hope, a beautiful flower, some uh, splatter ink, a butterfly. Uh, where there is, there is faith. So where there is hope, there is faith. Where there is faith, um, miracles happen. And then a larger butterfly, so two size butterflies. That is a awesome stamp set, you guys. And then you get the instructions, and I'll go through those in a minute. And then you get everything you need, everything you need. Except, like I said, um, the one thing they do not give you, uh, uh, and I didn't say that already, I'm saying it now, snips. You will need some scissors, but who doesn't have scissors, right? Okay, let's begin. Let's begin. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Let's not begin. One more thing. One more thing. Next, so the, the other thing about Paper Pumpkin is you can only get that month's kit between the 11th and 10th of the next. So right now we are on the September pu Paper Pumpkin uh, subscriptions right now. So if you want the next Paper Pumpkin, you've not gotten one before, the next one coming up is called Haunts and Harvest Paper Pumpkin Kit. Oh my gosh. Now, not every month it's cards. This card kit is treat boxes. And you're going, oh, well, I don't want treat boxes. Don't say that. The materials they give to make the treat boxes can so easily be converted into cards. So don't say that. Um, let me read real quick because it's easier for me to read the description than for me to go on and on and tell you about something I'm not quite sure. They just give us hints. It says, experience everything the autumn season has to offer with this month's paper pumpkin kit. Whether you're thinking about crisp red apples or you're ready to carve some spooky jack-o'-lanterns or both, the Haunts and Harvest Paper Pumpkin Kit is a hands-on crafting experience for all autumn lovers. The kit will contain enough supplies to create 12 treat boxes, and that will be four of three different designs, okay? Um, it comes with the exclusive stamp set and the classic Stampin' Spot. It is also versatile for the autumnal experience with a selection of treat styles. Take your pick of apples, pumpkins, or jack-o'-lanterns. So for those of you who are not Halloween people, which I know a lot of you are not, that's okay. You don't have to make this Halloween. You can make it harvest with apples and pumpkins. Um, the And, oh my God, this is the best part. Okay, so this paper, paper, pumpkin box is going to be able to be converted into a wheelbarrow to hold your treats in. I, I can't wait to see how they are gonna do that. And then last but not least, features a vivid fall palette with the color combo of the basic black, pale papaya, poppy parade, pumpkin pie, and soft succulent. So those are some gorgeous colors. All right, so that is next month's paper pumpkin. If you ha And there are also two ways to do paper pumpkin. You can go ahead and sign up as a subscription where it automatically deducts from your payment every month and it sends you the box every month. And so that way you don't have to worry about it. You just wait every month to get your paper pumpkin. Or if you would rather, you can do a prepay where you send in the money for one box, three boxes, six boxes, or 12 boxes. And then they email you a code and you have to go in and claim the boxes you want. So let's say you want this uh, har harvest box coming up. You pay for three months. You put the code in for this month to get the harvest one. The next month, you put in the code for next month. So there's a little bit more keeping up on your end that way. However, that way right now, you can use 
the money you spend for prepay on your celebration items, <laughs> okay? Subscription people don't get the celebration choice. Only prepay gets celebration. So either way, you're getting an awesome kit. All right, let's get started. <gasps> Whew, what a lot of talking. Okay, so I've got all this up. The very first tip, okay, you ready for your first tip? First tip is open your instructions and get yourself to the back page here where it shows you how to separate all of the stuff in the box, okay? You have card number one, card number two, card number three, and in this case, I'm gonna share with you this part. This is for the box, to decorate the box, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. All right, so those of you who have this kit, uh, go ahead and get your supplies out, and let's put it together. So the first card one you want, the uh, pool party card bases, and you have three of those, you want the matching envelopes. Let me get my matching envelopes here. And they, these are the matching envelopes that go with card number one. There are three of those, okay? So you have those. Now, you're also going to need the big stamp. Always hope because you have, you never know what tomorrow will bring. You need the big stamp. And I put it on my block already. You're going to need this. Now, <clears throat> do you have friends that speak German or French? you could send them this card and instead of the word tomorrow in English, you could cover it with whatever that word is. <laughs> Zuversight? I don't, I don't speak German or French, I'm sorry. You get the idea though. And um, so you have that. Then you're also going to need the beautiful watercolor wash here, these three cards, and the Bermuda Bay uh, splatter, what they, though it's called a water splatter. Anyways, it's already done for you. You're gonna need the punch out butterflies. You're going to need these, um, wait a minute. Nope, I think I am onto the second card because that's not what I want here. No, these go with the next card, sorry. Whoops, okay, so I have, Double check, I have the envelope, I have the card base, I have the water splatter, I have the color wash, and I have the hope in the tomorrow, and I have the stamp set. These are the sequins, you're gonna need some sequins, the glue dots, the dimensionals, and that's all you need for card number one. All right, so we got that. Um, we will do card number two's pile next, so let me move all this out of the way. And your dimensionals and your block, just put those to the side for a minute, and your ink spot, okay? Because you need those for all the cards. Card number two, let me pull this one out, here we go. You are going to need the punch out butterflies. This one, you're gonna need the circle tags. You will need, whoops, you, yeah, you're going to need these, um, ta uh, whatever this is, punch outs. <laughs> the white, blank white cards, the pink card base, and the pretty um, envelopes that go with this one. So this is card number two. Okay, and now card number three, let's pull all that out. Card number three has the beautiful butterfly corner here in the envelope. The This funky looking card base here with the swirls and the kind of interesting color splashes there. The word hope here cutouts, or like on the first card, you could change your language, okay? And then these beautiful die cuts. Isn't that beautiful? It's a laser cut. Ah, oh, so pretty. All right, and so you're gonna need that for the third card. The rest of the material you have in your box, this ribbon, um, these dies, this large butterfly, and this uh, belly band, all go to create a hope box, and I'll show you that at the end. All right, so let me get card three out of the way and card two out of the way. Now that you've got all of your materials separated and into their piles, let's begin. So we're gonna move this away from card number one and we're gonna find card number one in the instructions, okay? And so here is card number one up at the top and I'm just gonna fold this back so I'm not distracted by the other card tutorials, okay? There we go. And it starts with number one. You are going to stamp the stamp in the beautiful ink, which is Blackberry Bliss, onto that color wash card, okay? Then you're going to, number two, add some dimensionals and add some glue dots to these two um, rectangles, okay? And you are going to then punch out the butterflies and the words and stick those onto the base and then finally put some sequins and you are done with card number one, okay? So here we go. First, 
uh, we have our water base. Oh, and one more thing you may want if um, you don't have it is a foam base because your um, exclusive stamp set is a photopolymer stamp set and there's no give. So if you stamp on your surface, which is a hard surface, and you do this, and let's say that hard surface may have like a maybe a, a bump or something in the way, it, the inking is not gonna be smooth. So you always wanna have some kind of a cushion for when you stamp, all right? And then our little ink spot. And if you don't use your little ink spot, if you've got, if you wanna save this, you can, but I like using them instead of the big block. That way I don't get ink everywhere. All right, and I'm looking for my snips. I just had them, here they are, to open my ink spot. And I just go over here on the side and I just cut that, whoops, adhesive thing there. Okay, and well, it's not wanting to, usually it just breaks apart on the other side, but let me do this side. There we go. There, now that I've got that on there, I can ink up without getting ink everywhere. Okay, you like that? And like I said, buy the ink refill and this little pad will last you forever, okay? And we're gonna put that right in the middle and press down. I like to hold it for just a sec to let the ink kind of sink into the paper and lift it up and hope I did it. Woohoo! looks awesome. All right, let me put my ink away so I don't get it anywhere. And we can put this away because we're finished stamping. And it says to put uh, dimensionals on the back of this. So let me get my dimensionals out. Where did I put all my adhesives? I think I threw them in here. No, I did not. Oh, I put them over here on the side. <laughs> here we go. Come on. Open, open, open. There we go. I also love their little Ziploc bags. You can hold things in them at when you're finished with all this. I mean, there's just so much. I love it. All right, four little dimensionals here. Hello, all of you. I'm looking up. I see Hildenel this morning and Linda Darling and Chris. Good morning. And Zaina. Is that Zaina? Yeah, I think that's Zaina. <laughs> Sometimes I say, mispronounce y'all's names and I apologize. All right, so we have dimensionals on that one. Then the blue one, we want adhesive. Now, here's another tip. Um, I save my glue dots for other projects. Like if I need a glue dot to put like a bow on or something, um, I would much rather have my adhesive um, tape runner. It's just faster and easier, so. But if you have an itty bitty item you wanna glue down, you definitely want these glue dots. Okay, so we have that. Now we need our card base. Get my card base, come here card base. And we are going to adhere that on in the center, just like that. Okay, and then this one centers on that. Okay. It's pretty already, isn't it? <laughs> Now, I need a couple of butterflies, and these butterflies are from, you know, sometimes they put the dies, the dies on other die pages. So this one has these little butterflies up here, and I need two of them. Okay, and there's three sets of two, so the other sets go on the other cards. All right, and I'm gonna put dimensionals. Um, actually, they have it on glue dots, but I like dimensionals. Everything needs to be popped up, right? Oh, that is a little bitty butterfly. Okay, so either cut your dimensional in half, or if you have mini dimensionals, get your minis out. Okay. There we go. Okay. And we're gonna put this one here. Oh, and they actually kind of have it up off the page. So there we go, and this one down here is still on the page. And now we need the words. Okay, so they have the tomorrow and the hope. There we go, and the hope. And we're just gonna put those right over the words, okay? Go, and there we go. Afternoon from the UK, Zaina. 
I just, I hope that's how you say it. Oh, I feel so bad if it's not, but it looks like Zaina. <laughs> We're going to put that right there. And then our little word hope. Come on, little word hope. And these are wonderful cards. If anything, I think this is one stamp set that I am going to be um, watching, uh, using a lot. Um, especially in my church uh, card ministry. Do you all have a church card ministry? Um, it's an awesome thing. If you don't, um, you may want to start one. But I have like three other ladies who get with me. And we, whoops, I'm trying to plug in my, there we go. Uh, my my battery was running out. I apologize. Okay. So anyways, uh, awesome stamp set for card ministry. Always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. And uh, Tuesday afternoons, I get together with some ladies at my church and we make cards and send them to other parishioners in our church. Okay. So that was card number one. Oh, forgot the sequins. Woo. Can't forget the bling. Can't forget the bling. All right. And then you can just look and see where they put them. Okay, and sometimes I like to do that. I just put them where, and if I don't really like where they put them, then I change it. I also notice they put the pink at the top, and I have the green at the top. That doesn't matter either. Okay, let's put in, and I do love adhesive-backed sequins. Okay, yeah, I definitely need sequins up here. Okay, and I'm going to put two of them. Yeah, just put them. I can't decide. Oh, just put it down. <laughs> Spend all day trying to decide where to put adhesives, uh, sequins. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Okay, now it's done. Yay. All right, let's look at card number two. All right, on card number two, um, let me put all of this away so I'm not, and I'm going to say, I, actually, my ladies at church, we're going to put these together. <laughs> we're going to finish putting these together on Tuesday or tomorrow at church. Okay, so let me get out my next card set. And my next card set, I want the pink card base and the envelopes. And, of course, the envelopes I don't need right now. Um, you need these um, white, the white cutout and these uh, flag tail ones and um, the circles. So we need a circle here. And we need the uh, butterflies that... Where did I put those butterflies? Okay, hold on. There they are. These butterflies here. So I need the um, the pink, the green, and the yellow. Pink, the green, and the yellow. Okay. So one, two, and three. The purple one will go on a different card, so I'm going to put that back in the box. All right. I need these pieces. Whoops. Actually, I have both cards together. I don't want all of them right now. And this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, put this one back. Okay, I only need one of these. Oops. Let's put all this over here. I only need one card base. All right, make sure I have everything now. Oh, and the stamp set. So the stamp they're using is just a note of hope, which is another great sentiment for card ministries. Okay. First step is to put uh, adhesive on the back of the white and the uh, paper, the designer paper strips. Okay, so let me get the butterflies out of the way. Woo. Turn all this over. There we go. And they're using uh, just glue dots, so I'll just use my tape runner. Good morning from Florida. I've got John and Kathy. I think it's just Kathy, though. <laughs> might be John. John might be watching, too. All right. Then it's going... You're going to put this here. And let me match up which way we're going. Okay, so it starts with the polka dot one. Eh, one's the polka dot one. Of course, it's the last one I pick up, right? All right. And they put this one at the top, kind of coming over the edge a little bit. Not too much, there we go, like that. And then um, the one that has the stripes, 
Okay, and now, once again, it's the last one I pick up. This one is gonna go in the center here, but also up, okay? Um, so, there we go, that looks good. Now these two will go down and come this way. Like that and like that, okay? Interesting, huh? So they just kind of zigzagged it um, and just made it fun. Now, here's a tip. If you want to duplicate this card, use your leftover paper scraps and just cut out some strips like that and then kind of zigzag them. Okay, there's a tip for you. And we're going to put this on our card base. Here's our card base. Come here. Mm. And it just goes in the center like that. And they just are using glue dots. They're not using dimensionals. So I'm just going to lay it flat. I may have used dimensionals if I was creating this, but I'm trying to follow the instructions for you. Next, we need to ink up our stamp. And we're going to stamp it on the circle. And remember, you want some kind of foam pad. We want to put this on dimensionals, so let's get the dimensionals out. And when I have a circle, I like to just do a little triangle of dimensionals. Um, sometimes you can just put it in the center, but if you really want it to be lifted up on all the sides there, that's good. And the butterflies, um, they used uh, the glue dots, but I'm going to use the mini dimensionals again. And like I said, if you don't own mini dimensionals, no biggie. Just cut your big ones in half. But we do sell mini ones. And they are very helpful. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna put that one there. And there. And there. Okay. <laughs> Let's put the sentiment down first. And they kind of have it um, in the center of the far right strips so right here like that okay and then they took the green one and put the green butterfly right here kind of overlapping a little bit okay and this one is the come here the yellow one they put down here actually you know what i'm gonna go off the page there i think that looks cool and then the pink one. Oh, pink one, where did you go? Hmm. It's probably right in front of me, isn't it? <sighs> nope. Come on, pink one, where did you go? Oh, don't you? Ah, there it is. <laughs> white on white. Sometimes it's hard to see. Okay, and then this one can go over here and it can kind of hang off the edge too. So there we are. We are fin. Oh no, always forget the bling. Where's my bling? Okay, and where did they put the bling? They put the bling around the pink butterfly, the green butterfly, and down here in the white. Okay, so the pink butterfly gets some, um, one there, yeah, on the paper strip, and between, whoops, ah, come here. There we go, between the circle and the butterfly. And then they put one under the green and on the white area down here. Okay, so now we're finished with card number two. So cool, huh? <laughs> Love it. All right, so that was card number two. And finally, card number three, all right, and we, uh, card number three is back here. Okay, so we're gonna flip this over. And this one, we need two sentiments because they're separated. It's really one sentiment, but it's separated. It says, where there is blank, there is faith. Okay, so I've got those. And I put them on my smaller blocks. If you don't have smaller blocks, that's okay. They fit on the big block. Um, so we need that. And we are gonna stamp these on the little strips here. Okay, so one for each. 
go. Then we need the laser cut. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Now this laser cut piece is gonna be hard to put adhesive on because it's so, so tiny. You will want your glue dots for this. So you're gonna turn it over and you can see where glue dots can go very easily to hold it in place, okay? A lot of good places for glue dots. So we will use the glue dots for that. And then we also need the word hope from this page here, okay? Or you could use a different language, of course. And, and, a, and the purple butterfly, okay? So we used the yellow, green, and pink. Now we're gonna use the purple one, okay? And is that it? And the sequence. Okay, so let's put our card together. Oh, and of course our card base. Our card base has this interesting um, design because it's gonna match up with this laser cut, okay? <clears throat> All right, first let's stamp. So we're gonna get our two little strips here. Yes, Kim says that laser cut piece is beautiful. Yes, it is. Of course, all pa paper pumpkin. I mean, I wasn't around 20 years ago. I don't even know when they began paper pumpkin, but people used to go, oh, paper pumpkin, I didn't like it at all. Well, now people are like, you can't get it. Um, they sell out so fast. People love these paper pumpkins now. And like I said, even if it's a, a, a treat box one, like it's coming up with the haunt and harvest, that's okay because you could just use the pieces and make cards. It's so versatile to change. And especially if you buy a little pack of note cards, the little three and a half by five cards, oh, those are really perfect um, for turning treat boxes into cards. I'm looking for my lid, there it is, okay. All right, now that I've got my sentiments stamped, the next thing it tells me to do is put all the glue dots on there. And it even tells you where you can put the glue dots if you're not quite sure where. So let me move these out of the way. And I'm gonna move this up here on so you can see it better. And then another thing you'll want when using these kind of glue dots is a paper piercing tool, okay? A very sharp implement <clears throat> to grab under the glue dot and place it where you want it, okay? So I'm gonna put it at the body of the uh, butterfly. I can put it right there by the wing. Just anywhere that it'll fit. <clears throat> and you want multiple places, because this is a very large piece. Let's see, we can go on that butterfly wing there. And this flower here, okay. And um, let's go ahead and put them back here too. And get one right there and one right here okay so that's good yeah i like that now to get all these off of here uh, the easiest thing to do is just take your pierce tool and just pick them off okay all right and i'm just flipping them over and i can blow them off when i'm whoops that's not wanting to come off come on there we go Do -do -do. Ooh, there's a lot of them on here. <laughs> Come on. All right, did I get them all? <sighs> Double check. Oh, that one wants to stay stuck. And you can, uh, what I do, <clears throat> get your light and maneuver it so you can kind of see the glossy stickiness to make sure you have all the backs off. Yep, got all the backs off. All right, and this just goes on the card front <clears throat> like this, and now you're going to match it up. So... Um, where's my instructions here? <clears throat> you want it to, it's, it's a um, horizontal card. And so this swirl goes with this swirl and this swirl goes with this swirl and this splotch goes with this butterfly here, okay? And we're just going to kind of maneuver it so it looks like it's kind of lined up on everything, okay? And you can kind of tell, there we go. Perfect. And then I'm just going to turn it over and rub it. That way I know I get all those sticky dots pressed in. Okay. All right. Let's decorate this. Uh, where there's hope, there's faith. So here's my word hope. Okay. And where are my two sentiments? Of course, now that I've moved everything around, I won't be able to find them, right? <laughs> there they are. Okay. And we're going to put our sentiments on with dimensionals. Okay. So where's my dimensionals? There they are. 
and we'll put one there. Ooh, these are off, just fit on there. Yeah, I may have wanted to use my minis, but that's okay, or cut these in half, but they'll work. Okay, and then the Hope also gets dimensionals. Come on. And they put them like that. Okay. Let's get all of the piece, the backings off. There we go. That's just what I was trying to say. <laughs> so fun. How long have we been going? Oh, 35 minutes and I've almost made three cards. How fast is that? That's another thing. Boy, if you need cards fast... You need the paper pumpkin kits or any of our kits. Do you know if you go to stampinup.com and then forward slash kits, we have other kits besides paper pumpkin that are completely all exclusive like the paper pumpkin, except you can see exactly what's in the kit. Paper pumpkin, you do not get to see exactly. It's a fun surprise every month, but our regular kits you can. And so go to stampinup.com forward slash kits and you can check that out. All right, let's put hope smack dab in the middle. All right, and kind of just eyeball it. And now we want where there is, okay, and I'm gonna just bump that right up next to it. Where there is hope. Oh, look at that, I put where there is again. Ha! Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm so goofy. Oh, emergency, emergency. Here we go. <laughs> where there is hope, where there is hope. Here we go. And is this the right one? Yeah, there is faith. <laughs> okay, and now flip this over. There we go. Greg says he'd still be on the first card. No, no, Greg, if you get everything all in the piles, you, you it goes by so fast. It really does. Just do it like assembly order, assembly line. There we go. Now, where there is hope, there is faith. Love that. What else do we need to do to this? Oh, the little purple butterfly. Where's that? There we go. And they put the little purple butterfly. Oh, now they did not put it on dimensionals because they put it here on the uh, card here so they put a glue dot let me get a glue dot there we go come on get it off of there tell you what these backings are really sticky this month sometimes they're not that sticky all right okay all right so we have that there and sequins all right where's my sequins and they put sequins um, around the edge so you can find them. Because this is a lot. This is very busy. It's kind of hard to see what's going on here. So they put one here. And, um, oh, they put them in the petal here. That's clever. And where else did they put them? Over here in these petals. And, did not. Oops, come here. Oh. Now, da-da. <laughs> okay, so let me pull out the three cards again. All right, aren't they beautiful? I love them. And like I said, if you have a card ministry, this is the perfect thing. Oh, my gosh. Now, not every month does it work for ministry. Sometimes it's a birthday kit. And our, our church, min our uh, card ministry um, doesn't do birthday cards. We do, like, sympathy and get well and uh, encouragement cards. But I, sh I can't wait to show my ladies tomorrow. They are just going to fall in love with these cards. Okay. Now, one last thing, <clears throat> excuse me, get all this out of the way, is this Hope Box. Now, this is called the Box of Hope Card Kit. And for those of you who have it, let me show you how to put together your Box of your Hope Box. Now, sad, sad, sad look. Mine got crunched in the mail. I'm very sad, but... You know, I just kind of bend it, maneuver it. I'm not, I'm not real, I'm not a perfectionist, so it doesn't really bother me. I wish it hadn't happened, but it's not going to be the end of the world. Kind of squish it so it works better. All right, so I have my box, and what we do, let me explain to you what a hope box is. So, with your specially designed paper pumpkin hope box in hand, decorate it with elements from the kit and make it your own. 
Find and curate a section, a selection of mementos that represent hope and optimism to you. Then place them in the box. So you can see Shelly here. She took some very special photos. She has a little tiny journal here. She has a bookmark that was sentimental to her and a rock that has gratitude engraved on it. Um, she has a card that was given to her by a special friend. Um, so, And she has all of these just put in her little hope box. And then it says, look into your hope box often whenever you need a reminder to think positively or want some inspiration. And uh, so that is what this is all about. And here are some examples of what to include in your hope box. You put a card from the hope box paper pumpkin kit. So you could actually put the card in there. Oh, 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 when did that happen? Oh, I lost you guys. Darn it. Oh. Someone must have called me. I am really, really frustrated with uh, Facebook Lives. Hold on, I gotta add input, add camera. Come on. Oh, please work. Thank you. Oh, I hope it. Uh, <laughs> Listen to me growling. So frustrating. All right, here we go. We got it back on here and lift it up. Oh, goodness. Come on and zoom back in. There we go. Switch it over. Oh, I forgot the me. Okay, now switch it over. There we go. Oh, how long ago did that happen? Are you all telling me? We can't see you. We can't see you. Oh, good. Now we can see you. Oh, Colleen said it didn't drop us. I must have caught it right in time. Phew. All right, back to creating this really cute hope box. Um, it has a belly band. So here's the belly band, okay? And it's already scored for you. So it's scored right there. It's scored there. Ooh, let's zoom out some. There we go. Um, and, oh, it's scored right there. There we go. All right, so this is... Okay, I'm doing something wrong here. Oh, all right. <laughs> Let me close the box, see if I can figure this out better. There we go. So you're going to put it on your box like this. There we go. There's the score lines. And you're going to adhere it on the back, and then it just slides on and off, okay? Put that down. And they suggest, the instructions are here. They're on the very back of the... Um, instructions here okay so I have my belly band on my box now the next thing they want you to do is to take the ribbon and tie it around the box okay now I am um... oops here we go and for those of you who have this box would you put pictures of it on our um group page I would oh wow this is oh that's another thing they put the best products in here this is like um uh, I'm rayon I mean it's so smooth and just so flexible oh it's perfect I love it and they give you tons and tons there's gonna be lots left over I love it all right so let me um adhere put some adhesive back here so that my belly band is on here okay one and two. There we go. And now my ribbon. And I'm just going to lay that on the bottom there. And on the bottom there. And I have it on the roll still. That way, um, if I don't use it all, I have a lot left over. Okay. And I can't well you know what i might be able to yes i can here we go take my now i'm not putting it under the card i'm just putting it under the ribbon there we go holds it for me a little bit okay there. oh gosh this ribbon's so awesome oh i hope this ribbon is going to be in the new catalog you know we get a new catalog in january right <laughs> and hopefully another celebration I know they gave us a celebration right now, and it's always in January, but you never know. They, you can't, they may be changing stuff up on us again. 
Okay, I'm looking for my snips. There they are. Okay, so I'm gonna snip that, make a nice cut. This is, this ribbon is also very delicate and it sheds, it like, what am I trying to say? The, the, never mind. <laughs> I'm trying to talk and I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, you may want to put some no fray adhesive on there. If you all don't know what that is, um, it's a sewing uh, item. It's called no fray and you put it on the edge of fabric so it won't fray. <laughs> no fray. All right, there we go. We've got our ribbon on there, okay? And that can that can move around. Next thing that they put on here, okay, is look, so we've put our ribbon on. Now we want the butterfly and they have dimensionals on the butterfly and the sentiment, okay? So let me pop this out. And I only want dimensionals on this white. I don't want to get on the box cuz this has to come off of the box. Okay, so where are my dimensionals? I've kind of put everything all over the place now. It's hard to find stuff. Okay. And you can just see where they put the dimensionals if you're not sure where to put the dimensionals. Let me pull this up again for you. You can barely see it. They put in the corners of... No, I'm sorry. They put it in the center here. That's the holes of the butterfly. Okay, so one, two, three, four... Yeah, okay, so one, two, it's hard, like I said, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between the dimensional and these holes. One, two, three, and then they put one on this side, and they put one on this side. All right, so there you go. Here's another tip. So when you are putting this butterfly down on this white, you do not want to get dimensionals on the box, okay? So they have it in the, just pretty much here in the center. I may have even put that one down too far, but that's okay. We'll just make it work. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, and now, okay, you want to, um, your ribbon, um, if you want to make that more secure, you could put adhesive underneath there, but this should just come right off. There we go. Yeah, just like that. And you can get into your box and then put it right back on. Just come on. <laughs> yeah, I say you can put it right back on, right? There we go, yeah, put it right back on. Okay, is there anything, oh yeah, the sentiment. I'm sorry, I forgot the sentiment, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, and you have different languages here too. Always hope because you never know what tomorrow will bring. Whee! And this is put on with dimensionals also, okay? Woo, we're 47, this is a long one, you guys. We don't usually have an extra activity like this box to put together. But like I said, for those of you who have the box, this is how you put it together. Okay. All right. There we go. Perfect. And of course, that dimensional is sticking to that ribbon there, so that's gonna keep it secure also. Yay, and what are these? Okay, I'm missing something. Huh. I apologize, you all. I'm not... Oh, they stamped it. They didn't tell us to stamp it. Well, shoot. Uh, before you do anything, they had used the other stamps in the stamp set, these stamps here, and had stamped on the white back behind. That would have been really pretty, but I've already put it on here, so I can't do that. Okay, so another tip, you guys, before you put all this together, stamp your belly band. Okay, there we go. All right, that's it. You all have been so patient. Like I said, this has been an extremely long video. Um, uh, just before I go, though, just don't forget, up above here, do, 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 new host code, September host code. And when you spend $100 and use this host code, I am sending you a free retired bundle. 
okay? Last month, I sent you a free stamp set, retired stamp set, if you spent 50. This month, so for the month of September, I'm sending you a free retired bundle. All right, but you have to spend $100 to get that and use the host code. Okay, I love you guys. Y'all are so awesome. I will be back here on Wednesday for our creative card challenge. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>